Hey everybody, it's Kayla with The Celebration Company and for this project you're going to need just a few items from Dollar Tree and some scrapbook paper. I am using some new scrapbook paper from one of our new collections. You can find that on our website at www.thecelebrationco.com. I'm using a plaque from Dollar Tree. It was left over from Valentine's Day and I'm just applying my scrapbook paper to the back of it. I am using two eight and a half by 11 sheets. So I'm kind of just matching them in the middle. It's not going to be perfect, but you're not going to be able to tell once we get the images on the front of it. And I'm just using some Mod Podge to do that. And after I get them applied, I'll go back with some sandpaper and remove the excess all the way around the edges. Now I found this adorable sign from Dollar Tree in the fall section. It's They had it last year as well. It looked just a little bit different. So I'm using it. We're gonna use all three pieces, but we're gonna take them all off of the string. And what I'm doing is using my sanding block to just kind of distress it a little bit. And I distressed the edges of the plaque around the paper and I also distressed the truck and now what I'm doing is taking some burnt umber paint and a wet paper towel and I'm just sort of uh, adding a little bit of age to it kind of wiping it over the front of the truck doing that on the background as well just adding a little age so you can see it has sort of a fun distressed look there and I'm going to do the same thing to the pumpkin patch sign and the caramel apples and I'm just sanding the front the sides the edges just all of it and then again I'm taking some watered down burnt umber and just kind of rubbing that over the surface to give it a little bit of an aged look. This is a five gallon paint stir stick and I'm just adding a little bit of stain to it using my watered down burnt umber. Now I have another sign here. You could use anything you have. This is just something I had in my stash. It's left over from another Dollar Tree sign. It's just something I took off of something. And I am going to paint it. So I'm mixing a color of orange that's very similar to the pumpkin patch sign, the orange in the background of that. And I'm just gonna get this sign painted and coated in that orange. Now I've got a white paint pen and I'm just adding a little bit of an edge all the way around it. I want it to look similar to the other signs. So I'm trying to somewhat match that. And so I'm just going, making a little bit of a white outline with my white paint pen. And now I'm gonna grab some stickers. I'm using some fun white stickers. I got these at Hobby Lobby. And I'm gonna spell out Farm Fresh. Now you could spell out anything you want to, but um, I felt like Farm Fresh was gonna fit really well on here. So that's what I decided to go with. And after I get my letters in place and I get them positioned where I want to, I'm gonna use another paint pen just to add a little bit of a shadow. Again, I'm trying to somewhat mimic the other signs that we have here, the caramel apples and the pumpkin patch. So I'm just taking a dark brown paint pen. It's kind of hard to see in the video. I feel like I can see it pretty well in person, but I'm just basically putting a line on the letters and I'm doing that on like one side of them. So in this case, I was doing it on the right side of the letters um, and just doing all of them just the same way. And then after I get the shadow on there, 
I am going to make some little lines just down the front of the letters. So here I'm making the lines and you can see I'm doing it on the right side. For this I was sort of mimicking the pumpkin patch. There was some little lines on the pumpkin patch so that's kind of what I was doing. And then I'm just going to repeat the process as I did with the others. So I'm just giving it a little bit of a sand and distress. And since I can't kind of sand over the front like I did with the others, I decided to do a little bit of white dry brushing to create sort of more of an aged, distressed look. Now I'm gonna use the cinnamon to create a rust technique. So I'm taking a big brush and dipping it down into my Mod Podge and then I'm just dabbing it over in surfaces. I'm not brushing it on. I'm just sort of making sort of dabbing motions to create like patches of rust kind of all over my signs. And I'm gonna do that on all the different pieces. Now I'm going to dry all of my cinnamon and Mod Podge with a heat gun and in the process I'm taking a dry brush and just kind of brushing off some of the excess cinnamon that got onto my surface. I just wanted to make sure that the cinnamon is just in those spots that I designated it to be. And now I'm going to use some spray Mod Podge, you can get this at Hobby Lobby. And I am just spraying that over the surface, all over, and then I'm kind of coming back around the letters and brushing it. The spray does have a little bit of a texture to it, which is perfectly fine, and I think that really adds a lot to the rust. But on the surface, where there's no rust, I wanted it to be smooth. Now that I have all the pieces aged and distressed and rusted, I'm going to start putting everything together. So I just glue the truck onto the sign and I kind of put it down a little lower so that I can put my farm fresh right above it. And now I'm going to grab my paint stick and I'm going to glue that right to the back of my farm fresh sign and then all we have to do is just glue our pumpkin patch and our caramel apples on there and I decided to do the green one first and then the orange one and it's all done and I think this is just the perfect little sign for fall I think it's adorable it looks aged and distressed and sort of like metal and I just think it turned out absolutely adorable so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this one be sure to check out other videos by us the celebration company and have a fabulous day